What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 and another Chaos One Mastery Build Guide. We are on the Chaos One Mastery of the Ramparts and our objectives are think fast, complete each build phase under 30 seconds, goodbye blue sky which is no anti-air, and under pressure which is finish each combat phase in under 3 minutes. So uh, this one really, it's all about that initial setup. Now we have no build restrictions this time, except no anti-air. And in light of that, I think I'm going to go with Squire Blockade Walls with Power Pylon, Sharpened Spikes, and Fortification. Going to use some Poison Dart Towers with Power Transfer, Deadly Strikes, and Defense Rate. And then... Finishing it off with some Flame Auras, Deadly Strikes, Power Transfer, and Defense Crit Chance. So you have to kind of have your game plan down, as this map is not huge, but it is spread out enough where it could be a challenge for that 30 second build time. So you want to be ready to go and kind of build each lane out as you come to it. Of course, it's uh, very quick to swap between heroes, so swapping and getting those Auras down in this case should not be an issue. Let's go ahead and get it started. Of course, we've got the timer right there on screen. And I'm just going to go two Auras for each wave to start things off. And I will actually have to start it before I'm done, which uh, is, you know, always a little sketchy, but that comes with the solo play here. And there we go. Cutting it a little close there, but we're able to get the job done. And this lane is generally, it seems like, is the slowest for enemies getting here. And as soon as we got that wall built, I'm going to go ahead and start working on these flame arrows. So, of course, going to have to manually kill all this stuff here on the very first wave. Just keeping an eye on the mini-map and making sure I don't lose any defenses along the road here. And definitely got to keep an eye out for any of those wither beasts. If any wither beasts are buried anywhere, uh, it would be a good idea to get those guys knocked out. That is for certain. There's one right there. Let's go ahead and get another one up front there. And for the most part, it seems to be holding up pretty decently. As with a lot of these masteries, it's a big part of the challenge is going to be just finishing wave one uh, and holding on to all the the objectives that you want to attain on that map. Looks like we're getting a little thin up here. Now, building or, or pardon me, repairing and upgrading are not issues on this one which is indeed a good thing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go with a couple more. And here comes the air. So we're going to have to manually kill the air here on this first wave. Actually, you know what? We can just switch over and get a poison dark tower started. I'm going to go with two PDTs here, basically. And looks like we're getting it done all right. Let's go ahead and get another one right here on this one. And there we go. So I've got lots and lots of DU left. Of course, we've got that 30 second build time. Now it's not as much of an issue though, as the basics are in. And now it's just a matter of filling it all out. I do want to get up here and get both of these walls upgraded as they were getting a little bit sketchy. And, you know, feel free to take advantage of that build timer. There's no, uh, no reason, it doesn't say anywhere that you have to start it within five seconds or whatever. So, use the build timer for sure. It's there for a reason. And, you know, I think I uh, might add some lightning strikes in as well, since I do have quite a bit of additional DU here. Let's go ahead and fill it out just a little bit more with these flame auras. 
Definitely on that short lane, I think we'll use uh, some lightning strikes as well. In the middle, I gotta keep an eye on those middle R's. They're uh, already going red on me. Or going yellow, I should say. Pardon me. They're not quite red yet. And then just watching for flyers on the minimap. Still got quite a bit of DU left. We'll be able to build this out really nicely. Let's go with flame or lightning over here as well. <clears throat> and then I believe some lightning in the middle. Well, actually, lightning, lightning everywhere. <laughs> Let's just give more lightning. Looking good. The flyers aren't really an issue with the PDTs as long as uh, there's no ground mobs. Of course, if there's a bunch of ground mobs there, then there's the chance that all of those mobs are going to be taking the aggro from the poison dart towers. And little quibs at the end to close the deal here. Actually, might be able to use another flame art here too, huh? Why not? Let's see. Let's put it back. Get Take advantage of that power pylon a little bit. And there we are. Now we are at the DE limit. And all about the ups. But for the most part, looking good. Now, although the Poison Dart Towers do do a great job with the Flyers, still don't have too much faith in them at Tier 1. Um, ideally, actually, would like to get everything on the map up to, at a minimum, of Tier 2. See how we're holding up over here. Looking alright. That middle... Ooh-hoo. Alright, we had, so we have a flyer that made it... Oh, it died from the poison. Whew, that was a little close. Definitely got to watch the mini-map on not just this one, every single one of these challenges. The mini-map is very, very telling as to what's going on, of course. Try to get this whole lane squared away. The middle looks like it's about to get pushed pretty hard, though. I might want to get back up there here pretty quick. As long as stuff is dying, as long as those little red dots are disappearing, I'm not going to sweat it too much. Two bosses coming now. I think I'll ignore the upgrades for a moment and get on these bosses here. And Tuscar's down. Got Quibbly over here getting a little uppity. And then there's Quibbs taken care of. Throw some freebie quick upgrades in over here while we're waiting for our, our box to pop. And then let's do something about that middle, as the middle is definitely getting a little bit beat up. Nothing a few upgrades can't take care of, that's for sure. Let's just go like that, and then we'll go ahead and get it started. Uh, these walls, eh. A couple ups won't hurt. Alright, so did I get all this to tier 2? I did. And now time to start working on this lane here. Getting the job done. Uh, for anyone curious, this is my Nuke Monk. So uh, if you're wondering why I didn't go through all of the Monk's gear, it's because I use the same Monk pretty much every time. One of my favorite ways to play the Monk for certain. Combined uh, the power of the Chi Blast with uh, the one-shotting ability of the pets. Just makes for just a powerful combo. Looks 
Looks like the middle's holding up now, but we do have a little... That far left lane is turning yellow on the wall. So let me get a little bit of love in there. Just going to slap an upgrade on it. And actually going pretty smoothly. No major issues quite yet. So we got a Quibbly coming in. That's Gribs there. I usually prefer to kill Quibbly first, but for some reason I thought Quibbly was on that lane. Quibbly seems to dish out a little bit more pain usually. And then let's head back over to this far side. We'll get a couple of ups in on the way. We'll do that. 400 left. Basically, I want to hit the yellow stuff if possible. And it looks like it may just be the lightning strikes. Oh, nope. It's the flame Rs over here that are still at tier 1. That is alright. And we got a little shieldy coming. From right over here, in fact. So... That's nice, didn't have to run too far to look for him. Alright, shieldy down. It really is the biggest challenge, in my opinion anyway, the biggest challenge on this particular map is just those 30 second builds phases. And it's it's the main the very first one. The initial build phase. Now that time is going to start from the second you hit G, not from when you pop open the box. So from the second you start the map, uh, before you pop the bo box, that is when the timer begins. Now of course it is right on screen, so it gives us that uh, luxury of being able to see it right there. Right, Ogre down. We got something about to go over here it looks like. The front aura, yeah. Just slap an upgrade on it and it will hold out to the end here, no problem. Basically just keeping an eye on anything in the map is red. Now actually, yeah we didn't have it as an objective to not lose any towers, so it wouldn't be game breaking if something did die. Let's see if I can get a little lane clear going over here. This lane is bunching up. Uh oh, I am trapped. There we go. Alright, we got massive flyers coming in. Just gonna ignore Matthews for the time being until these flyers are down. And there we go. Plaguing Hawk is the last one standing. And there it is. It is good game and a five-star solo mastery run on Ramparts Chaos 1 in Dungeon Defenders 2, of course. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And I will be back soon with much more. Uh, as I mentioned before, gonna handle, going to do a guide for every single mastery map. It's just a matter of uh, having the opportunity to get them all done and recorded. So thank you once again, and I will see you next time.